like, oh, wow, you guys started out as a search engine. Next thing you're going to do, like Savage and Moore said, why don't you people run Obamacare, too? That's fucked up. YouTube's fucked up. Everybody's miserable. I don't see too many videos where people are like, oh, hell yeah, Google+. Plus. Oh, I'm in the inner circle. Oh, only ten people can comment on my videos now. So I make a video, and, like, if I have five people in my inner circle because they talk to me the most, like... NY Raptor 6, Savage No More, Justin, Dave, uh, you know, what if I forget to somebody, add, add somebody to my inner circle, oh, so they're not going to comment on my video, like, they feel left out, okay, I try to, like, I, I try to, you know, maybe incorporate people that, you know, comment the most on my, uh, on my, uh, videos, like, Glenn Enterprises 19 brought up the Rambling with Ram thing. So, about, I haven't done it in a long time. So, I did three in one day. But he doesn't comment on every video. And I assume he's busy, because he hasn't made any videos, as far as I know. But, maybe a lot of people have made videos that I've never seen, because YouTube fucked up. Maybe it doesn't show up in my subscription list anymore. I have no idea. I don't even know how to find half the stuff, because I can't click on everybody's username and go, Did I see this video? Did I see this video? I'm not going to be able to tell anybody what video Justin made a month ago on, on a Wednesday. or or So I don't know if I saw it or not unless I sit and go through all the videos or anybody else. There was a time uh, Savage No More made a video and I didn't see it. And I'm like, wow, when did he make this? And, and I had to watch it. So there might be people who made videos. I have no idea. And maybe they think I'm an asshole because I didn't comment on them. But how would I know? What happened when everybody first came on YouTube and it was like easy? I used to spend hours like when I first got my tractors uh, or lawn, you know, my lawn tractor. Uh, the first one I bought because it had a snow plow. No, I put a snow plow on it actually. Um, so I spent hours watching snow plowing videos and, and tractors and like... Uh, that's how I, like, I found out about, like, Redneck Rickham, because of his tractor videos. Now the guy's turned into just some guy, like, ripping off Canada with welfare, and he posts, like, eating roadkill. The fuck do I want to watch that for? But I found him because he made tractor videos. Like, it was so easy to search for things you were interested in. And yeah, you could still search for things you're interested in, and a whole bunch of garbage pops up with it, too. So... It just doesn't make sense to me. And, yeah, I know I cursed a lot in the first, you know, ten minutes of this video or whatever. But I'm really pissed off. Because, um, you know, I go to work. I run a business with, like, annoying, irritating people, honestly. Some of the customers are ridiculous. YouTube is just fun to come home at night and relax. Um, I know some of you know from the videos, if you ever read the descriptions, my fiancé lives in Oklahoma... She used to get mad at me sometimes when I would go visit and I would be on YouTube. She's like, get off YouTube. But, like, I had to watch everybody's videos. I didn't want to get behind. I wanted to know what was going on. Because even though I didn't, I haven't met anybody, um, you know, what you guys do is interesting. Everybody does interesting things. And there's a lot of stuff I didn't know about from some of the people that do the landscaping in New Jersey. Like, uh, Flynn Landscaping messaged me one time and told me, that his uncle goes around in my area where I do stuff. And he told me what his truck looked like. But I had never noticed him before. You know, I never really paid attention. Now I see him all the time. I don't know his uncle, so I wouldn't, you know, approach him and be like, Oh, hey, what's up? But I see his trucks all the time, his truck all the time. And I'm like, you know, that's pretty cool. That, you know, somebody from YouTube, you could actually, like, you know, I could see, like... Storm's Landscaping, I could probably go see if I, you know, wanted to spend all the money in gas to go as far as he is. Uh, CF Landscaping, he's in, there's a lot of people on YouTube in New Jersey where, you know, YouTube's a good way to keep in contact with people, know what everybody's doing, you know, in the same part of the state. And it's, like, totally ruined now. And I'm sure more people are going to post videos complaining... It, if you log out of YouTube, it's like, oh, log in through Google. Use your Gmail address. Uh, I know Savage No More doesn't want to put his real name. 
I used to get things all the time. YouTube wanted me to put my real name. I don't want to put my real name. All the people that started putting their real name, I don't even, when their, when their videos come up, I, I don't even know who they are. Because I remember the YouTube names. Like, nobody had their name as a YouTube. My name is because of a truck I had a long time ago. I don't have the truck anymore, but through a lot of things, people know that name. Because it was my, it used to be one of my email addresses. It used to be uh, my name on Instant Messenger, on AOL Instant Messenger. Like I've had that for a long time, so I kept it. But if I put my real name, people are gonna be like, well, "Who the hell is that?" Especially if I, if I'm not in the video like myself, like, or it's something you guys haven't seen before. Especially if I don't talk in the video, I'm gonna say you'll be like, "Who's this guy?" But the whole idea is stupid. Like, it's YouTube, not Facebook. Facebook started from the beginning where you have to put your name. That's fine. Because Facebook wasn't supposed to be anonymous. And somebody could be totally anonymous through YouTube if you've never posted your face or your name or anything. But this is a good way to get to know people. And it could be interesting. But as far as, you know, people don't want to put their real name. So... Why is Google and YouTube forcing this on each other? Why don't YouTube just stay by itself instead of merging with Google or whatever the fuck they did? Because none of it makes sense. Like, so what, you know, like, what's next? The government is going to control Google? Like, you're going to have to, like, go on Google Plus to file your taxes and, like, all sorts of stupid shit? It's fucking garbage. So, honestly, this is going to be my last video. Um... If anybody wants to comment on it, feel free. I hope you get the comments. Um, I had some, you know, I, I had some ideas for videos. Like today, I'm trying to work on a, a, a chainsaw for somebody. And the uh, to adjust the mixture screws, I would assume that there's something to actually adjust it, but it's, it's missing. I'm using, like, an electrical connector to, like, kind of hold on to the screw that's in there. Um, so now I gotta go see the guy if, like, somebody took it out, because somebody messed with this carburetor, and his shit doesn't work right. So I was gonna make a video on it. I thought it was pretty interesting to adjust the mixture screw with an electrical connector, and I saw that on a video on YouTube for something where an electrical connector fit, and I'm, like, trying to figure out how I'm gonna turn this, I'm like, oh yeah, some, I remember somebody mentioned electrical connectors. Without YouTube, I wouldn't have known that. There's some YouTube videos that I've used to, like, fix different things and understand things that, you know, it was easier than trying to read something. Oh, I could watch video for two seconds and go, oh, look. Um, but now it's like, okay, if I can't comment or ask a question, what's the point? It's stupid. Change the fucking thing back. It was bad enough when I was getting things for Google+. Plus. Okay, yeah, I did it. Uh, my thing's linked through Google+, Plus, and you know what? I'm scared to log out of my account because it somehow made me create two of them, and they have the same picture, so if I don't pick the right one, it says I have no videos. So then I have to go back, try and figure out which one has all my videos. My videos aren't under my normal thing anymore. That's why I don't have the yellow lawn tractor as my icon, and I have the, the picture for the grass because I couldn't figure out how to fuck get my icon back. Everybody knew my icon by the yellow tractor. It was for my first fucking video. But no, it's changed. Okay, yeah, I like the picture of those stripes, but I didn't want it as my fucking YouTube video icon. I wanted the fucking tractor. So what the fuck? Like, why has everything changed? I'm so tired of it. This is why Mr. John Deere 3720 was pissed off. The guy makes fucking hour-long videos so people can enjoy it. He spends an hour almost every day making a video so people can watch it. Now nobody knows if they can fucking comment on it. Like I said, I don't, watch, I don't watch him all the way through, but I definitely click on each one to see what he's doing and what he's talking about. Fucking guy posts about his new, new tool set, which I thought was cool. Like, I didn't watch the whole thing, but he has a cool tool set. Everybody likes tools. It's fucking nice. And the guy was excited to post on YouTube about it. But no. Fucking... Now he's all aggravated. Everybody's fucking leaving. Savage No More said he's done. Unless he can figure out a way to get around the Google. I'm just fucking done. Because 
I got a lot of, I, without YouTube, I got a lot of fucking free time now. So, I'm going to watch, you know, people's videos if you guys still post. But I'm not going to be, like, checking them out every day. So, yeah, I'm going to probably miss some. Justin, he's going to fucking walk around Wisconsin for what? Like, the poor guy's going to fucking walk, like, 30,000 miles around Wisconsin to make YouTube videos so everybody can join. You know what? Nobody can fucking comment on them. So, what the fuck? It doesn't matter. It's ridiculous. Like, he's going to make a fishing video, probably catch some giant fish that nobody saw, and you know what? Oh, nobody can comment. Oh, they be, oh, I can't reply to your comment. So what's the point? Like, when everybody should just give up YouTube. Just give it up. Maybe they'll change. They'll be like, oh, fuck, everybody left. And then there's like two people. There's two fucking Google Plus users. Like, oh, I'm in my inner fucking circle. Let's make a video sitting in a fucking circle. So sit in your fucking Google circle and fucking think about how cool it is. Because it's not. It's not fucking cool. Why don't they call it fucking Google Minus? Because it fucking blows. It's totally ridiculous. And, like I said, I'll come back, because I know Storm's Landscaping seem pretty excited about wanting to see the beard videos. Um, I know, I thought it was funny that Dave said he was in, because he said he looks like a homeless guy anyway, which is hysterical. So, I hope he does the video, too. I'm coming back for that. But in the meantime, I'm not going to make any, any, like, worthwhile videos, because if I don't know if somebody can comment on it, you know what? I don't want to fucking check my email every two seconds. Oh, somebody commented. And in the email thing, it says reply. So I click on fucking reply, and it doesn't reply to the comment. I have to fucking post a new comment. So nothing, no. So it's like I'm posting a new comment on the video. So how the fuck's anybody going to know if it's meant for them? Why does the button say reply? It doesn't go to the comment. It goes to the video. I'm not replying to the fucking video. I'm replying to the comment. That was in my email. I never checked my email for comments before. It never fucking alerted me for comments. I used to go in my inbox every day. Or a couple times a day. When I knew I posted a video. To see what comments people would leave. Or if I commented on somebody's video. Most people reply. So I want to see what they reply with. No, now i got to wait for a fucking email notification. I don't want to check my fucking email every 10 seconds. I just want to go on my phone real quick, quick. Where it says YouTube inbox. Oh, they're all there. Oh private message no problem but no it doesn't work that way anymore so fuck it i'm done oh and i know i suggested uh vimo or however the fuck you say it. it's like v-i-m-e-o uh it seemed like the only thing closest to youtube so i was gonna go check that out well storms landscaping says you can only post 26 gigabytes a year the fuck's the point of that Did anybody make a long video oh uh, if you make a high def long video, uh, Mr. John Deere 3720 is probably the best example. If his videos are high def and an hour long, guess how many gigabytes that is? So, okay, so the guy's going to post two videos a year? Nobody's going to watch two videos a year. They have to be fucking awesome videos to, you know, put up with two videos a year. Nobody's going to do that. So, fuck, I'm not checking out that website either. So, if somebody could find a different website that we could all go on and do something, uh, even if, like, ten of us go, I'd be happy with ten subscribers that, that comment and we could interact with each other like we were here. Uh, it was exciting to me to have, like, over 100 subscribers, and I was close to 200 as far as I know. I think it's like, 175, maybe. CF Landscaping, excited about his 100 subscribers. I remember when I had, like, five, and I'm like, wow, cool, five people found me on YouTube. And that was back when I hardly made videos. I'm like, what the fuck are people watching me? But you know what? The same people are still on my YouTube thing. So I started making more videos. When more people subscribed, I made more videos. Now I feel like I'm letting people down by being like, fuck it, I'm done. Savage No More's got probably more subscribers than I do. Knows a shitload of stuff about engines and, and everything. And he's done. I'm sure NY Raptor 6 hasn't been around to make a video or comment, so I'm sure when he comes back, he's going to be like, holy shit, maybe he'll be done too. And all the good people are going to wind up being done because nobody can figure out the comment thing. And why make a video if nobody comments on your videos? If you have no feedback about your videos, how do you know if it's good or not? I mean, 
I could make a two-hour video on, on rainfall.